YouTube, it's Undying Art bringing you a, another figure review, or in this case, free figure reviews. Uh, today we have the SH Figure Arts DC Trinity, as I'm going to call them, which is the SH Figure Arts Justice League Superman, SH Figure Arts Wonder Woman 84 Super, uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, and the SH Figure Arts Justice League Batman. So, I guess we'll get into... Hmm... Batman first. So if you're familiar with the SH Figure Arts figure, um, you'll notice something different with this figure, uh, which basically I weathered the grey with black Tamiya, or Sirt I should say, Tamiya Weathering Masters, just to give him a bit more definition, um, and to like desaturate the outfit, because it was very bright grey, and I didn't like that. As well as that, I removed the neck peg in his head, so it's literally just held in there with blue tack now can see here because his head held held don't know what the word is rested a little bit too high for my liking um but apart from that i absolutely love the design of this outfit the sculpt work is incredible i would like to do the neck mod not neck mod the ab mod where you can increase his height um using a 3d printed neck peg uh I keep saying neck peg <laughs> chest peg uh, torso peg, that's the word, couldn't think of it um, but apart from that I really like the figure I prefer this over the Mayfix version I know that's sacrilegious to say as people who own the Mayfix say it's incredible but honestly I sold the Mayfix and kept this so um, what does that say about me? <laughs> uh, I think in the future I will mat the outfit so it's not shiny black like this and then gloss the eyes to give him a bit more realistic look maybe try and go over the stubble a bit more um, as you can see here the stubble is really subtle so I might define that a little bit more but apart from that really happy with him so we'll get onto his accessories and then we'll get onto Wonder Woman 84 so he comes with two trigger finger hands for the grapple gun look pretty good. Um, two pairs of relaxed hands. Simple sculpt but effective. Um, and then two pairs of batarang holding hands. I don't know if you'll be able to see but it's got a slit in the top. Doesn't want to focus of course. There you go, you can see the hole there. So that's to hold the battering, and then I'll show you the battering. And there he is holding the battering. It's a shame it doesn't come with more batterings in case you lose this one, but I suppose I could always 3D print some more if I lose this. Comes with a grapple gun as well. Nice sculpt to it. Fits in his hand nicely. So that is Batman accessories done. So up next we'll take a look at Wonder Woman 84. Which I have to say, the likeness to Gal Gadot, or Gal Gadot, as however you want to say her name, is very, very good. It's even better in person. It looks good on camera, but in person it feels a lot better, in my opinion. And the reason I got this version is because I like the bright colours, as opposed to the Justice League version, which is very dark. And also the likeness is way better on this version. There you can see all the beautiful sculpted detail. Looks a bit more ugly on the back, but that's because of all the articulation. But it looks really, really bloody good. So we'll get on to the accessories that she comes with. So we'll take a look at the faceplate first, which actually I've not done yet. Ah, okay, so I think you're supposed to pop off the hair first, which I did not do. Um, and then it reveals this ugly contraption. And then you put the new faceplate on. Or you accidentally put the old faceplate on, that also works. So here is the other faceplate, which is, as you can tell, very expressive. Definitely not just looking slightly off-centre to the right. But it looks like Gal Gadot, so I can't really complain. I would like a more aggressive uh, face, as she's quite um, a brutal character, even though 
she's not supposed to be, but that doesn't matter. Um, now we'll put the old faceplate back on and then look at her other accessories. So she comes with a pair of relaxed hands, nice sculpt to them. She comes with the ability to not stand up when I want her to, so that's also good. She comes with a pair of splayed out hands, not really sure uh, what you'd use these for. You'd use it to not make the camera focus, that's what you use it for. Yeah, not really sure if I'll ever use these because I can't think of any reason to. She comes with a pair of fisted hands. Fisted hands? No, yeah, that's the right word. Don't know why I lost track of train of thought there. Don't know why I lost train of thought there. And then a pair of gripping hands for the lasso of truth. Speaking of the lasso of truth, she has it holstered in her hip at the moment, but you get a little peg so you can swap it out and then you can have this lasso in her hand, which has got a nice gold detail to it. Nice gold detail, there you go. Nice gold detail, very simple. It's not bendy wire or anything, it's formed like this. But yeah, that's it. But because I like the Justice League version, and this is my Justice League version, I got my friend to print me her sword and shield. So here's the sword. Bit of paint chipping at the handle there, because paint chipping is a bitch. And then here's her shield, which I painted up just to reiterate. And then really half assed the handles just to give it the effect because you don't see you won't see the other side when she's holding it anyway. So let's get those weapons in her hands. So here she is ready to kill Edgy Wolf or Big Tadpole bloke. Um really happy with these 3D prints so big shout out to CB Prints for helping me out with these because they're very fucking cool and really does complete her look for me. And then finally, and then finally, we're saving Superman till last because one of his accessories is the most is one of my favourite accessories I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so taking a look at the first head sculpt, I think the likeness to Cavill's there, and I like the little smirk he does. It feels very Justice League, so I like that. The hair's very shiny, so I'll definitely be matting that down to make it look less like he's just been bathed in oil. And then the rest of the suit, really nice. I've always liked the design of Man of Steel. And I like that in Justice League it's a lot brighter than it is in Man of Steel. And then a big long flowing cape, that's way too big for him. And in case you want to see what it looks like under the cape, that's what it looks like. All the sculpted details there, even though you rarely ever see it, because he's got a cape on. So moving on to accessories. He has a gripping hand for the left hand and a fisted hand for the right hand, which means he comes with the opposite versions because I forgot to switch out both fisted hands. So there's the right gripping hand and here is the left fisted hand. And his final two accessories, apart from the best accessory ever, is the relaxed hands and again camera not going to focus because it hates me today there we go and before I get onto the final accessory I will need to say that I remove the neck peg on this figure as well because otherwise he has a giraffe neck usually his neck sits about probably that high and it looks ridiculous so again remove the neck peg so you can sit it lower make it look more natural. With blue tack of course. So the final accessory is 
So the final accessory is coming to you in three, two, one. There you have it. What on earth was Bandai thinking? This is hilarious. I absolutely love it. It's just... I don't... I can't even put it to words. It's like some weird demon thing, but I love it. It looks so angry. It looks absolutely insane, as if, like... Honestly, it feels like an Injustice version. Which, to be fair, I like, so... I can't complain. And I'm, like... I might sound sarcastic right now, but I genuinely love this head sculpt. It is absolutely hilarious. And it gives, gives him so much more emotion. And also comes off his head, because I didn't put enough blue tack on him. I mean, just... Look at that. That's absolutely batshit insane. Like, he... <laughs> I love it. He's ready to kill anyone. This, like, if you think that Homelander would beat Superman, you just got to look at this and realise you're so very wrong. Just absolute menace. <laughs> I love it. So here we have them in just a quick pose-up. Uh, got Batman doing a swag walk, because of course. Got Wonder Woman ready to stab the shit out of someone. And then I've got Superman looking like an absolute psychopath who's going to incinerate anyone in his path. So my final thoughts on, this, on these three figures, I'm glad to have them. As much as I don't like the DC films, I do enjoy the looks, so for me I'm happy to have them. And that's all for this video. Um, I might have a workshop episode in the future where I show like the modifications I do to Superman, because his articulation is fairly limited in the torso, um, which I'll quickly show because I forgot to. He gets really far back but barely any forward, and the same with the waist, so that feels like a bit of a waste, but uh, I did not mean to do that pun, but yeah, it seems like a waste for Superman to not be able to move very well, um, but apart from that, really solid figures, and I'd recommend them, especially as the modifications I've done to Batman and Superman are very easy to do, especially just removing neck pegs helps out so much, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you enjoyed my rambling. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Let me know in the comment section below. I've got a workshop episode coming up tomorrow, and then a few more figures coming in the coming days. I won't give away what they are, so stay tuned to the channel. I'll catch you in a bit. Peace.